What's up everybody, I'm City Goodman and in today's Daily Fix, footage from a cancelled Avengers game and Cyberpunk delays their news broadcast. Roll the thing. Assemble! 10 whole minutes of new footage from the cancelled first person Avengers game has been uploaded to the internet. Yes, that internet, the very one you're on right now. Not to be confused with the Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix third person Marvel's Avengers game, which is very much still happening and supposed to come out in September. We are talking about 2011's Avengers game from THQ Studio Australia and Blue Tongue Entertainment, which was cancelled after THQ suffered financial troubles and were eventually forced to close. This version of that Avengers game was discovered on a hard drive by obscure gamers and the footage was uploaded by Andrew Borman, the digital games curator at the Museum of Play. Here we see a wild Captain America in his natural state throwing about a shield at enemy scrolls. And if that made you excited for more, you are in luck, because the full video shows off Iron Man, Thor, and Hulk. Clearly, this footage is taken from an early build of the game, which features placeholder collectibles, untextured enemy models, and undetailed levels. But despite all that, you can still make out the first-person co-op brawling gameplay that the project was working towards. Let's talk about games preservation for a second. As technology continues to develop, games have more and more potential to be left behind. I still have a Nintendo 64 and a GameCube, but at this point, it is a horrible experience playing those games on a TV from 2020. Remakes and remasters obviously exist. We've gotten a lot as of late, like the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, and Master Chief Collection back in 2014. But what happens when the remakes and remasters also get old? Is it a cycle where every 10 years Hallmark games need to get reworked so that a new generation can experience them? Do we just let them be forgotten? What happens to games that aren't Hallmark? Are emulators the solution? I truly do not have the answers, but I am curious to hear what everyone's takes are in the comments, so let me know. The Cyberpunk 2077 news broadcast, Night City Wire, has been delayed to June 25th. It was originally scheduled for June 11th, and developer CD Projekt Red explained that the push was due to the current protests and outcry following the murder of George Floyd. Their statement on Twitter reads, quote, more important discussions are happening right now, and we want them to be heard. We wholeheartedly stand against racism, intolerance, and violence. Black Lives Matter. Night City Wire is part of IGN's Summer of Gaming, and no doubt about it, we've got you covered come June 25th. And that was Daily Fix. I'm Cindy Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our final preview of The Last of Us Part 2. It is coming up fast. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to Daily Fix on Snapchat. And for all things everything else, IGN.com. The biggest gaming event of the year is IGN's Summer of Gaming, and it's almost here. Tune into IGN throughout June to see the latest and greatest in game reveals, news, trailers, next-gen coverage, and more. We'll be kicking it off with our first ever IGN Expo, where you'll get first looks at world premiere game trailers, exclusive game demos, and interviews you won't find anywhere else. IGN's Summer of Gaming, only on IGN and IGN One on your Samsung TV+.